This is a beautiful Busendorfer. I gotta figure out what size it is. I just traded my Mason and Hamlin for it. <laughs> awesome, has a Viennese action. All 88 keys. Plays very well. Left hand. Can't wait until this comes to my house. My very first Busendorfer piano. Which is very good. It's an oldie, but goldie. I, I love oldies. Well, everybody, I'm saying my final goodbyes to my Mason and Hamlin BB because it's going to be uh, replaced by a Busenhofer, which is a, it's an older one, but a very unique one. And here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Need some hammer work. And such a great piano. Such a great piano. So, I already made a video on this piano. And um, I'm going to make a new video of the Busenhofer when it comes to the house. I'll see you guys.
Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm actually looking at this. This is gorgeous. You know, it's a lot older than the Mason & Hamlin, but I tell you this, it was worth the trade. Um, this piano, of course, does need a little bit of work, needs some damper work. So just to warn you before I play it, but look at this. This is just gorgeous. And this is the old style lyre right there, which has the pulley system. And I don't mind that at all because it makes the piano look even more valuable. Um, here's a tag over here. Antique and country pine. Country pine, hmm. It says booze and offer. They were selling it for $34,000. Um, the inside has um, individual hitch pins. So each string is on its own hitch pins. Look at all those holes. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Does it have a little emblem all the way at the end? It looks like it does, but I can't see it that much. Um, it does have some cracks in the soundboard. Here's the booze and offer signature right over here. But it's not that bad. Not that bad at all. This is the um, Vietnamese action. I'm gonna pull that out probably in a separate video because I need to fix these dampers. See, some of the dampers are a little bit lift up. If it's a damper problem, that's all it is, then that's fine. Um, this has the same kind of style as the modern day Busendorfers. Same kind of yak tail. Same kind of bend rim. You have basically a lid lock right here. Just like on my Play L, has the same lid lock, almost the same kind of style. Wow, I'm in piano heaven right now, just in my own house. And a lot better construction, you know. Well, the Mason and Hamlet had really good construction, so I cannot complain about that. All right, let's measure it. After measuring it, let's play it. So let me close it up, let's measure it, and then I play it for you. You know, this is my very, very first Busenhofer grand piano. And I don't care if it's old because it makes it more valuable. And I like old pianos. But let's close it up. And in a picture, it kind of looked like a seven footer, looked like a six footer. I don't know for sure, so I haven't measured this yet. Finish is absolutely beautiful. Let's see what we're gonna have to go through. Oh, don't want that to scratch it. So from right here. Oh damn. You're shitting me. This is a full seven footer. This is a full seven footer, everybody. Just, just imagine, I just got rid of a seven foot Mason and Hamlin. This is a full seven footer. This is from the farthest point all the way up to here. My first Busendorfer is a seven foot Busendorfer. Wow. Let's play it. Just wanna see here. Yep, has the extended soundboard area. It cuts in just like the play all does. So all three pianos have extended soundboards. It's so beautiful. I'm not gonna use a music desk, but it's so great.
today's action, it actually feels good. It feels a little bouncy, a little heavier than I thought it was. Particularly, Chase, you hear what I mean by the, uh, the dampers. It needs um, new damper work, which is no problem. I was sick my friend Dean on it. <laughs> That's, that's easy to fix. Yeah, I like it. It's got a nice feel to it. Yeah. Nice Let's, piano. So our first boosting offer. I like it. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody out there. This is Chris Nicholson. I took out the action of the boosting offer. And as I said, first I thought this was a six-footer. I measured it. It's a full-length seven-footer. Um, very, very rare, too. I didn't see any models just like this one. Um... This has brand spanking new hammers. Brand new hammers throughout the whole piano. I couldn't believe it when I see it. Um, on top of that, the hammers hardly have any grooves in it. Um, these right over here, these are your damper levers right over here. So it basically raises the dampers up. So when I press a key like this, you see it kind of raises the damper up and see the how how the hammer behaves it's on a basically like a like a seesaw level and in the back that's your escapement so the hammer basically punches up all the way to the string and rests right back onto the back check just like an upright piano which is good um kind of almost like an upright piano this is all right uh this is amazing amazing system uh, this is the Vietnamese action. 
what they call it. And so I wanted to fix the dampers. I fixed most of them, just three of them I have to fix. But look at these hammers, they're brand spanking new. Not even touched. Not even touched. I think these are Abel hammers, I hope they are. Um, so I wanted to, you know, regulate the action. This is the most easiest action to regulate. That's why I took this piano. Because um, when I traded the Mason and Hamlin, uh, my friend is a Mason and Hamlin fanatic. Um, and he he worships Mason and Hamlin. So when he found out that I had a Mason and Hamlin BB and the, the, the style that I had, he never had a style like that. So he offered me this Boozen offer and he said he hates working with Viennese actions. Uh, this is kind of like a square grand action. And I don't mind it. I love old pianos. Um, I'm, a, I'm a young soul with a... With, 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 I would say I'm an old soul with a young body. Um, this right over here, I have to figure out what did they do? It's making like a noise just for that. Some of them make noises and some of them click really nicely. So from the right over here, it's, it's like a loose noise that I have to figure out what's wrong with it. And that's probably just an easy fix. The rest of the piano. It's fine. So I'm, I'm very happy with my trade. Very happy with my trade. I hope he is too. Uh, his movers left one of those blankets here. So, you know, I'm going to return it. But just wanted to show you what the Busenhofer Vietnamese action looks like. And it's, I tell you this, it's impressive.
still needs a little bit more tweaking, everybody. Um, the action needs a little bit more regulation, which is no problem, but I absolutely love it. Sorry about the lighting. Um, so I just fully cleaned it, I tuned it. Um, it was a little tricky to tune because of the uh, damper system on here. And I'm still in the process of fixing the dampers. Um, there's one panel that goes right and left, so I have to take off the liar and fix that too. But this piano is such a great... Masons at the shop, so don't worry. I have more Mason and Hamlets at the shop, but the who's an offer? Whew, wow, unbelievable! A dream come true. I can scratch this off my bucket list. I'm happy. Thank you, everybody. Have a nice day. <laughs>